you know that Jesus Christ wants the doors and windows of the church to be wide open so his light and love can shine through you to affect our world? I'm Deacon Doug Bogart, and I'd like to share with you the beauty and the importance of Lumen Gentium, the light of the nations, one of the four major constitutions from the Second Vatican Council. Back in the mid-1500s, as a response to the Protestant Reformation, the Church Fathers circled the wagons, if you will, and adopted a defensive posture towards modern culture. In Lumen Gentium, the Fathers of the Council flipped that around and encouraged the Church to play offense instead of defense, to open the doors and let the truth of the Gospel shine out into today's world. They reminded us that the task of the whole Church, clergy, religious, and laity, is to proclaim the incredibly good news that Jesus Christ entered this world to show all peoples the way to the Father. He is the light of the nations, and we are to shine with His light in a dark and troubled world. A few key points from Lumen Gentium. First of all, the church is made up of all the baptized. We are the people of God. The desire of God that all mankind be joined fully to the church. Lumen Gentium makes it clear that the fullness of this people of God subsists in the Catholic Church, but other Christians, and even those of other faiths entirely, share aspects of the truth and are connected to the church in various ways. Secondly, the church is hierarchical. We have an authority structure set up by God so that we can truly be effective in our mission to proclaim Jesus to the world. Clergy, religious, and lay faithful all have different but equally important roles in that mission. Thirdly, Lumen Gentium reminds us that we are all called to holiness. Each one of us is called to intimate, loving communion with God so that we can be transformed and be part of the sanctification of our world. Not only are we called the people of God, but we are the mystical body of Christ. And by our baptisms, we share in Christ's mission of priest, prophet, and king. Finally, Lumen Gentium ends with a beautiful chapter devoted to Our Lady, Mary is held up as our mother and example, and we are encouraged to draw close to her. She is a sure sign to lead us to her divine son. For us and for all mankind, she is a sign of hope and comfort in this journey through this life as we await the life that is to come. 60 years after the council, this call to holiness and mission is still so important. As the people of God and the mystical body of Christ, the church is also the light of the nations. In 2022, the voice of the Holy Spirit is still calling us to holiness, to labor together to preach the good news, to be saints, missionaries, and martyrs. Let me in turn encourage you to spend some quality time reading and enjoying the wisdom of Lumen Gentium. Let the Council Fathers inflame your heart with a love for the church with a desire for holiness, and with a passion to let the light of Christ shine out through you to your family, your neighbors, and to all the nations. To read the full document, click on the link in the copy below.